So if you've got the last question, then I've got it. Since I reside at the cutting edge of scientific discovery, uh, what do I think is the most exciting ideas on the frontier of science and discovery? Thank you. I will end on that question. So, it's like the feel the animal come out of me. Of science, I don't think of things that I want invented that we don't have yet. That's easy. That's easy. What's a little harder is to try to imagine something that you can't yet imagine. I'll give you an example. <laughs> you walk into a hospital, every machine in that hospital brought into the service of diagnosing the condition of your body without letting you open, is based on a principle of physics discovered by a physicist who had no interest in medicine. The natural thought is, I want to live a healthier life. I want to cure cancer. So, increase cancer funding, A to B. Increase the, the budget of the National Institute of Health. But if every machine in a hospital came from the brain of a physicist, then that A to B is not going to really get you the revolutionary advances that transform society and culture. You'll get incremental advances. You do a little better with your survival rates of cancer. You do a little better with your life expectancy. The truly transformative changes in society occur when you cross-pollinate the discipline. The magnetic resonance imaging machine is based on a principle called nuclear magnetic resonance discovered by a physicist interested in the behavior of nuclei in the gas between stars and the galaxy. Nuclear magnetic resonance. So if you're a doctor in that hospital and you try to say, I need to know what's inside your body, I gotta cut you open. That doctor can't even conceive of this machine. Because he's trying to get into a place he, doesn't, he or she doesn't have access to. The MRI does not come out of the mind of a medical doctor. It comes out of the mind of a medical engineer who can speak the language of the physicist as well as that of the hospital. So, you ask me what I see in the future. Other than things like solving the dark matter problem, the dark energy problem, and maybe finally getting one of the UFO enthusiasts to drag an alien into the, you know, just give me an alien and we're done, right? <laughs> just, just, I'm tired of looking at your fuzzy photos and listening to your eyewitness testimonies. <laughs> give me an alien, we're good to go, all right? So, aside from those of the dark matter, dark energy, string theory, those are big problems in physics. And I'm a little biased as a physicist. Those are big problems. What I see is that the greatest challenges of society are yet to even be put forth. What I want, I, I want to live to see the day when we have the power to tap the energy of the earth the way we tap a keg. <laughs> A volcano is ready to blow. Bring in the tap. <laughs> tap. Tap it through the side. You got a heat source. Run the turbine. Drive the city that would have been leveled by the lava that would otherwise come out. The earth, the, the, the continental plates are ready to shift. Go down in there. Exploit the tension under which they are found. Use that pent up energy to run the energy needs of the city. I want to be able to control this earth the way we control pond water. Then, there is no conversation about where the oil is. 
There's no trillion dollar military budget to fight wars over pulling fossil fuels out of the ground, how primitive that is. I tweeted a few months ago how embarrassing it would be to tell visiting aliens that we're still getting, we're still digging our energy out of the ground. That would just be embarrassing. I'd, I'd, be, I'd say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not there yet. So you ask me what's on the frontier. I see a frontier where chemistry, physics, geology, biology, engineering, gets <laughs> cross-pollinated in such a way that there is an entire world that today we would not even recognize. That's the future that I'm dreaming about. The one that I cannot yet envision, but I know can happen because I've seen it happen before. And I invite all of you to participate in that dream. Thank you all.